What's up, what's up, what's up, my brothers and sisters in Christ? Welcome to another edition of the Sunday Word Report. This past week at church, uh, we had revival. It was a great, great revival. But Wednesday night really struck a chord with me. And I kind of talked about this subject here on the Sunday Word Report on Facebook. I talked about it somewhere before. And I just want to touch up on it real quick here on the Sunday Word Report. Don't lose your praise. Don't let Satan get the best of you. You stand tall and strong. Remember, we serve a victorious God. And through his precious gift, his precious gift, his son, Jesus Christ, we too are victorious. I know each of us, including myself, we all have been, ex we all have been experiencing so much over the past number of months. It seems like Satan is doing his very best taking it to new levels, new heights, to try to get us to fall down and stay down. He's trying to get us to turn away from God. He's just trying to make us be all depressed and angry, all this kind of foolishness, because Satan thinks he got the upper hand. But I'm here to tell you, my brothers and my sisters in Christ, your most powerful weapon you have is your praise. Don't lose your praise. Let your praise speak for itself. Let your praise keep you on your feet. Let your praise put a new joy in your heart, a new smile on your face. Let your praise do what it do best. And that not only give God what's due to him, but that's put the enemy on notice and tell the enemy, I serve a victorious God and through his son, Jesus Christ, I too am victorious and you know it's just so great to be reminded of the fact that we are victorious i'm happy today here on this very first edition of the sunday word report for the month of march 2018 i am just ecstatic doesn't matter what i have been through or what i'm going to go through i know for a fact that God will bring me through it and I'm here to tell you doesn't matter what you have been through or what you're going through right now he's going God is going to bring you through just keep the faith and don't give up don't lose your praise keep your praise going wake up still give thanks to God God and give him praise don't when you're walking through your house when you're at work when you're at school when you're in your car when you're walking down the street when you're just standing here like I'm doing here recording this vlog don't lose your praise. Keep your praise alive. Keep the hope alive. Keep your faith alive. Do not lose your praise. I find myself nowadays waking up, Satan trying his best first thing in the morning to get me feeling some kind of way. But you know, <laughs> I just praise God. I just thank God. Look, I said, thank you, Lord. It's another morning of brand new mercies. I'm going to praise you, God, because you're worthy of it. Doesn't matter what Satan is trying to do. Doesn't matter what he think he's going to do. I'm victorious. Man, it's funny. I looked up and the, and the S-U-N is shining on me. <laughs> oh, man, y'all. I'm, I'm just so hyped up. I'm just very hyped up. And this year is the year of change and overflow here. And with change and overflow, Satan is going to do his best to try to get you to fall down, trying to get you to cave in. Satan is going to try his best, but I'm here to tell you, you are victorious. Keep your praise. Bless the Lord. Get your shout on. If you got to turn your little shouting music on and just run around your house and dance, do what you do. You don't have to wait to Sunday. You don't have to wait to midweek service. You can praise him every chance you get because he's worthy of it. Well, Mr. Major, if he's worth, tell me why he's worthy of it. You're standing right there. You're sitting right there right now watching me. It's another day. Another a day, a day that has never been promised. And not only that, look at all the hell that's breaking loose in the world. And God still has his arms of protection around us. There's going to be troubles in this world. Evil going to take place. Satan going to do what Satan do. But my brothers and sisters in Christ, through Jesus, we are victorious. The price has already been paid and the victory has already been won. It's just up to you to have the faith. It's up to you to keep your praise going on. What you going to do? It's up to you. It's nobody's fault but yours if you decide to just sit there and sit in your own little corner and just be down, depressed, doubtful, hopeless, and all that. It's up to you. 
Jesus died so you won't have to stay there. Jesus died so you won't have to live in darkness. We live in a dark world, but through him we are the light, and he is the light. And we need to show others and tell others that Jesus is still alive and well. He's still moving through this world, but it's up to us to stick together and stand on the word of God and to let others know that your praise is your weapon. Even, even standing on the word, that's your weapon too. Let's, let me tell you this, no weapon that is formed against us is going to prosper. It's not going to succeed. My brothers and my sisters in Christ, I, I've been saying it since the beginning of the year. I said it at the end of 2017. I've been saying it ever since the beginning of 2018. We're going to do this year with the Holy Ghost filled vein. And not only that, we are receiving this year of change and overflow. The Holy Spirit gave me that at the end of 2017. 2018 is the year of change and overflow. Is this going to be an easy year? No. No year is easy. <laughs> Quite frankly, Going through a whole year, going through 65, 365 days a year, it's rough. You experience things. But let me tell you, you don't have to be down in the dumps about it. Don't let the devil get the best of you. Don't lose your praise. Whew. I'm done talking, y'all. I love each and every one of you. Until the fourth Sunday, this is Minister B.J. Major signing off, telling you to stay great, stay safe. Be blessed. Do not lose your praise.